Very much so, in a, in a, in the positive sense, a son, a, a son of Russia. Not that he's out there trying to uh, destroy the interests of other of other countries. No, that he was out there to sell the promote the interests of Russia, but at the same time keep a balance, keep it, keep it, keep the world into a harmony. This has always been his picture. Peace was always his idea. In other words, he always referred to the United States in all these interviews as our partners. And I said, will you stop using that word? They're not. Well, And he was a little bit slow in waking up to uh, what the United States was doing. Well, that said, he's one of the most powerful men in the world. He was at that time. And let me ask you the human question. As the old adage goes, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Did you see any corroding effects of power on the man, forget the political leader, on just the human being that carries that power on his shoulders for so many years. Keep in mind that he's been, un, unlike most modern leaders, he's been in office off and on because of, there was a Medvedev was president and he was not literally in charge. He was, he was, he was, uh, he took another appointment at that point and he, but he was still very much involved. But for 20 years, more or less, he's been at the administrator of the state, the protector of the state. And he's apparently done a good enough job that the Russian people have kept him there. Because contrary to what many people think, I really believe that if the Russian people didn't want him, he would be out. I firmly believe that. I don't think you can, let, you can go against the will of the people. Now, it expresses itself in many ways, at the ballot box and so forth, but also in other ways in Russia. There's a strong currents of opinion. So contrary to what the, the the position of him as a dictator, he wouldn't last if he was unpopular, number one. Number two, Russia is much more divided than people know. There's other factors in Russia. He is, there's, there are always tensions in, in, in around the Kremlin, who, who has power, who doesn't have power. That's been going on for a hundred years. But the the factions in Russia are, very much there. So when people refer to Russia as Putin, they're they're mistaken. When, and they do this regularly in the New York uh, papers and all this. They say, Putin did this, Putin did that, Putin's doing that. But it's Russia that's doing it. And that's what, uh, there's a distinction there that I, it's changed. In the old days, I would read about Khrushchev, but it was never Khrushchev personally. It was about the Soviet Union. Uh, there was respect for a country. And now, when it started to get personal with Putin, it, it changed. It, it, and the, our thinking changed in a, in a negative way. We, we no longer respected it as a country. We were seen it as a man. And the man we had trashed repeatedly, repeatedly as a poisoner, as a murderer, and none of which has ever been proven, but which has always been repeated and repeated to the point at which it becomes like an Orwell mantra it becomes like he is of course the bad guy 